What's up, gentlemen? Um, over here watching the Clemson game and just closed out watching the Celtics game and they're both terrible, at least so far for Clemson. Um, so what I'm gonna do, while I've got this on and it's hard to watch, is I'm gonna do a, uh, a final tasting of this Michter's small batch toasted stave experiment that uh, Chris Harrigan and I had been uh, partnering on to see how it does. So I've already got them poured to make it really easy. I'm going to go from the uh, original toast all the way to a darker toast in order and just do a real Spitfire uh, Spitfire tasting and see uh, see what happens here. So the staves have probably been out of the bottle for maybe two weeks. Um, so they've had time to kind of... Really good nose on the original. Kind of like a cherry pie, a little bit of baking spice light wood, light caramel. See the legs on that thing? The, uh, my initial taste is the, uh, is all oak and spice and that kind of carries through, but it's not a long finish. It, it dissipates pretty quickly. Yeah, I don't get a lot of that fruit on the uh, on the taste. It's it's oak and it's uh, spice. You get a little bit of creaminess kind of on the front. Finishes about what I was thinking. So this is the second toast level. It's a little lighter, maybe not as bright as the original, but a lot of the same flavors. You can see the uh, still equally as oily in the glass. Really long legs. That one's got something else going on. It actually comes across um kind of a little bit smoky maybe a little bit of uh char kind of like that char you might get on a burnt marshmallow get a little of that a little bit of that baking spice it carries through the finish on that one is lingers a little bit longer So far, I would go in reverse order. I think the second level char has uh, has just a little bit more complexity than that first so far, and a better finish. This has been <clears throat> probably for like the second half of the experiment. We we let the staves sit in the bottles for almost 90 days. In the first half of the experiment, the first two char levels, were the were the winners and then really with time the uh the third char level um consistently was coming out on top and um so we'll see i'm also going to be uh offering the uh uh third not char i always get this wrong chris is going to kill me toast it's a toast 
the third toast level on my website um, for purchase here pretty soon. Working on getting that up this weekend, hopefully. But yeah, the, the nose on this really just kind of combines the best out of the first two. Like you get some of that fruit, cherry, and then you get that really creamy, creamy note from the second. It's just a great nose. It's it's one you can go back to over and over. Um, the legs don't seem to be that uh, as long. It's not as oily as the first two, um, but it's still still decent coverage. They just run a lot quicker. All right. Yeah, it's just super, super creamy and rich. And then it just kind of builds on the mid palate into the back with that baking spice and then in, into the into the wood um, and then into the finish. I'd say maybe the finish on, wow. Ohio State just broke off a huge run. <laughs> um, I would say maybe the two toast um, has a slightly better finish than the than the third, but it's not by much. But for me, the nose and the complexity on the taste on the tongue are are better. I'm a big fan of bourbons that have fruit or cream notes. And then if you, you know, if you get the oak and the baking spice on top of that, and they're all kind of playing together, that's the kind of complexity that to me is, is interesting. All right, so we've got two left. Toast level, not char. Sorry, Chris. Toast level. Um, we've got this gnat flying around gnat in the winter. Um, Um, all right. Yeah, this one has a really deep, rich, caramelized char note. It's a it's a it's a solid nose. You get a little bit of the baking spice on this one in the nose, like roasted pecans. Almost like a uh, my wife makes these apple pies that have has streusel on top, and it's got nuts mixed in and stuff, and then a caramel drizzle on top. It's like that, but maybe it's gone a little bit too far, where it's a little bit. A little bit char, that's kind of what this nose reminds me of. <sighs> Interesting, another one with really great legs. I don't know what it is about that third that The mid to the back is all really young tasting oak. It kind of overpowers even the, it's like less baking spice and more like black pepper. But the finish isn't, it's kind of like a mid, a mid finish. Yeah, I get a lot of that still charred oak black pepper notes all on even on the front of that one i don't get a lot a lot else um, all right so this is the heaviest jar
Let's see what it's like. Again, not the legs on this one are are a little lighter than the other ones. I get some char, some oak. I do get like a really light, like grilled rock fruit, like peach note. And I also get kind of like a heavy rye note in there. It reminds me of like the Alberta rye from a whistle pig kind of. There's not a lot on the front of that. It's uh get a little bit of black pepper on the front, a little bit of oak, and then kind of the, the top and mid um, is uh, is kind of that rye bread note. Like a really heavy toasted piece of bread. don't get a really a really weird that's a really weird finish on that one there's not there's not much it just kind of falls off a cliff like all of the uh all of the all of the notes are on the back of the palate forward you know kind of once it hits the throat there's not much there so so overall i think i would i would probably stay the same i think probably the uh third toast level probably fourth toast level and then second toast level original toast and then the fifth toast level would be my kind of final order for these but um keeping out at the uh, the bourbon bard.com i'm gonna have um some of these toast level staves available definitely the third and maybe a few other we'll see um, for purchase for like ten ninety nine. Um, so to me, I, Nictor Small Batch is a solid daily drinker. There's nothing super offensive about it. It'd be something I would give kind of a newbie to kind of introduce them to what uh, what bourbon could be, and then um, you know maybe something you keep in a decanter. And I definitely think mostly those staves added a good bit of complexity, especially on the on the on the middle uh the staves that were kind of in the middle the four three and two um it, it improved the bourbon in my opinion the other ones um were good but um but the the middle three for me were were clear standouts just based on complexity and some of the other notes there um all right so 16 to zero hopefully clemson picks this up and uh, we don't have a total blowout on our hands but uh, hope everyone's having a good end of the holiday week get ready for the new year stay safe peace